What's going on guys? Night Rainbow here with another reaction video. And I'm going to be taking a look at the first episode of Dawn Somewhere's new uh, series. Uh, this is called Nepticism or Nepotism Adventure Series. Uh, this one is part one, Taxes. Uh, I know a while back when he announced that he was done with Million Fan Series, he was going to be working on this new one. I don't know exactly what this gonna what's gonna be like. If it's gonna be something similar to what Millie Vance is, or something completely different. But just by looking at the thumbnail here, I can tell it's like he, his style has definitely changed from um, uh, from what he was doing in Millie Event series. So very curious to see what this is gonna be like. So go ahead, and get this started in three, two, one. Start. Oh God, hi. Big giant hand. <laughs> you're an alicorn now. And your house is gone. She, she's very good. What the fuck? Very interesting intro. I, I like just the look at that castle. Hello, Twilight. Oh my gosh, Rarity, thank God you're here. I am so bored. I have cleaned and polished the magic table three times today. Oh, really? You do that? <laughs> I thought it was magically self-cleaning. It's a mysterious and arcane magical artifact. Aside from detecting small amounts of emotional stress anywhere in the world, nobody knows what it does. Oh, that reminds me. Do you think we should keep eating breakfast on it like we have been? Good, you good don't point. Think the magic seeps into the pancakes, dude. Well, you guys coming over for breakfast is pretty much my entire social life. So, like, you can <laughs> know, it's, it's probably fine. Hmm. Well, you know, when I was bored, I once played Connect the Dots with the bumps on my ceiling. Oh, but I know something you can do. Twilight, can you collect taxes? Taxes? Yeah, you know, when ponies give you money because you're the princess. Oh, oh, I have a history book about this. Of course you do. Once upon a time, <laughs> legends say that long ago there was such a thing called taxes. On Celestuary 24th, a legal plan was uttered for it. The ponies paid the princess on the basis of their legal worth. The pony was a what pony, the but the fuck? when he couldn't get a penny because he couldn't count past 20. The problem was abated with a warble and a garble when the pony they'd related choked to death upon a marble. Sweetie nearly died from that, but I was there to slap it back. I guess that's good, but try to focus. Here the story comes to Locus. New collector comes to town, got his numbers written down, sees himself from door to door. Ponies ask him what it's for. For the princess, he replies. Ponies say they'd rather die. Slam the door upon his face. He declares they'll find their place. To the courts, he drags them all. Entire town will take the fall. Ponies lose the legal battle. They don't know their lawyer prattle. But one thing they had was pitch, and the mind of a fit, throw some torches in the mix, and things are looking down a bit. Upon the stake collector hoisted, where his pants were bluntly moistened, dragged him out to center square, where they didn't set him there. Like your fire, say a prayer, all God's watching anywhere. Let this burning set your knees, forget about these taxi deeds. All our leaders here and now, those in future reading how, how we set this fool of flame. Can we really take the blame? Simple creatures, one and all, only once you take the fall. Remember now this thing we do, and we can say there wasn't two. That collector was the last of all collectors in the past. Here within the story penned about his gruesome gory end. Now this book no longer waxes about the tale of pony taxes. <laughs> Books so much. Yeah, yeah, we know. Yeah, we know. That's why we bought that self-help book to help you get over this. <laughs> I, 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 I no. Really read it. We are just practically throwing money away on I you. I don't have a problem. I'm sure, you could probably write a friendship book about the problems you don't have with books. I mean, speaking of friendship, do you suppose that you could collect taxes for a friendship reason? Oh, I suppose I am the friendship princess, so I have to say yes, or otherwise I'm just objectively admitting that the only thing I do as princess is make a great toy. Oh my god, that's adorable. Mark I love it. it. Yeah, the Griffins have been making them. Well, well, their kids have been. Oh my god. Like, affordable pricing. Okay, well, I oh have my an god. affordable multi-step plan for the tax money. This looks really ambitious. I mean, because you're going to have a really tough time explaining <laughs> what you're trying to do with just these drawings. I yeah. need to open as many boutiques as I can count. There's only three here. That's how many you already own. Oh. Well, I got bored of drawing. <laughs> Lately, I've been feeling really bored about living. If this is normal, I feel like it kind of came up on me gradually. I don't know, Twilight. You're, like, at the top. Try to strive for something better than Princess, maybe. The point is, I'm going to wow. need a lot of money. How Rarity. much money are you going to need, exactly? 
How high can you count? Well, I can count to a hundred. That much, a hundred. But recently, I've been studying a new theoretical number called the twi hundred. Oh, oh, that's the what I twi hundred. That's how much I need. A twi hundred is when you count to a hundred a hundred times. Isn't that just 100? No. But you said you count to 100 a hundred times, so don't you just get to 100 every time? Okay, you, you see these marbles? <laughs> is this 200 marbles? There's so many. No, 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 no. This is like 30 marbles. Oh, yeah. No, I, I knew that. That's still a lot of marbles, though. I mean, I'm counting nine. I have a theory that all numbers are just smaller parts of other numbers. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought you were going to try to swallow that. Just reflex. Just watch this. Why did you break your marble, Twilight? I'm not gonna buy you another one. Again, I'm, just, I'm sorry. I scold Sweetie Belle so often. I'm just... I, 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 go ahead. How many marbles is this? It's it's one broken marble. No! It's two! You can't just change one into two, Twilight. Otherwise, cats and dogs are gonna get gay married. For rarity! We could call I am definitely hearing taxes, Rainbow Dash right there. <laughs> there might even be more than Twi-100 taxes inside that Twi-100. Wait, could we really? Oh, uh... Oh, God. I got a little excited. It's all theoretical. <laughs> what if I told you I might be wrong? I am incredibly excited right now, and I would be extremely let down. Well, if you had to estimate oh, exactly course. how let down, like how let down do you think we're talking? I will inhale a marble just to spite you. Okay, Damn. That's, that's kind of what I thought. So that's our conflict for today. <laughs> Let's figure out how to collect taxes. So you'll do it? Well, I mean, this is why ponies become rulers, right? To help their friends get things they wouldn't have access to without their royal power? I mean, if that's not pure wholesome friendship, I don't know what else to call it. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, longer there into the future. I'm tired of that. <laughs> Yeah, I love Star Like Liver. Well, half of us do. <laughs> sure. They should never have died off. I mean, there's alligators. I guess alligators and turtles. Tortoises. Okay. <laughs> that was very interesting. So. It's obviously still the same guy doing all the voices for them. Which threw me off because as soon as I heard Twilight's voice, I was expecting her to still be that bitter alcoholic. Just looks down on everyone else <laughs> from Millie of Answers, but and same thing with Rarity when they introduced her, but it, lo it, it looks like he's changing up their characters uh, in this series. So they they both still seem very silly a bit dumber to be honest. <laughs> like at rarity, rarity at times just sound a lot like Rainbow Dash from Millie Vance series and at times even almost sounded just like Rainbow Dash from that series, but uh, I, I, I gotta see what part two is gonna be like, but so far I'm definitely intrigued by this. I'm very curious to see where the, uh, where he's gonna take this one. Um, art style is very cute, yeah, I'll give it that. Uh, it was kind of strange to look at at first, but I could definitely get used to that one real quickly. And we, I mean, hell, we even had a song in there. <laughs> I was not expecting that song. If you could call it a song, maybe just like rhyming with music in the back. I don't know. That was, <laughs> that, that was, that was, it was cute and interesting. Uh, <laughs> I'm curious to see if he's going to try to do that in every episode. That'd be kind of funny if he did that okay so well that was the first episode of Nep nepotism adventure series hope you guys enjoyed the video take it easy